Hi, AP Art students. Hope all is well as we enter week six of AP Art and Design Online. Hey, we are really getting down to it. Um, just, I want to thank you all after, for the last two weeks, all the work you've done on the images uh, for Miss Hedges and myself of, you know, editing those, reformatting those. They overall appear to me be much crisper, cleaner, colors are deeper more vibrant. The good news is you guys all have enough work. You could submit your portfolio today if you wanted. You've done that much work this year. Um, all your hard work is going to pay off right now. So um, you don't have to do anything new. We're going to take the next three weeks here and write our inquiry statement, finalize both sections of our portfolio, and submit them into the college board. Okay, um, this week I've spent a whole lot of time watching AP Studio Art videos from the College Board and distilling them, distilling the information for you so you don't have to spend seriously 8, 10, 12 hours watching these videos. It's been uh, quite a long week, guys. <laughs> um, but this week you have three graded assignments, okay? Um, the first graded assignment, all is going to be due on Friday, May 1st. Unfortunately, that was your prom day, but instead you get to do AP artwork. So, sorry. Um, the first one is your weekly email, okay? The second one is your inquiry statement draft. I'm just looking for your first draft on this. And then your third graded assignment this week are your 10 finalized sustained investigation uploads okay here are a few reminders I'm gonna try and there we go on your classroom okay um, you can see this here's your edit. all right this your reminders they're all gonna be under this material here the updated 2020 student directions for digital submission okay um, just want to go over these quickly though there are no physical portfolios being mailed in this year okay all of your images even including your selected works it's all going to be digital this year that's the first time ever sorry there was a fuzz on my on my screen um, all submitted digitally no physical portfolios okay um, now when you acknowledge before we send these portfolios off to the college board you're gonna have to acknowledge there's still a checkbox that says that yes you you've mailed in your physical work um, but that's only a, a technical requirement okay there are no physical portions this year you might have to check that yeah I mailed it in but that's they should have taken that out the college board being who they are and everything has you know ins and outs and backwards that's still in there you're gonna have to check it even though it's not true I'm sorry I don't understand why either okay the new submission deadline is going to be for the college board their absolute last day is at the end of may on may 26th but of course our last school day is may 22nd okay i'm thinking that um we'll submit our portfolios by may 15th so that gives you guys an extra two weeks with all of the extra things you've had to accommodate to um in online school um, we still we have you know three more than total dedicated weeks to get both sections of the portfolio up and the sustained and um, I'm sorry the inquiry statement up okay so I'm gonna shoot for May 15th even if we're not done then guess what we still have that whole entire last week of school to you know ratchet down anything we have to ratchet down still get it in in plenty of time to make the college board happy okay um, there's an updated number of works. You only have to include 10 sustained investigation pieces, not 15, and three selected works, not five, okay? Um, as I showed you on this Google Classroom, okay, your student directions are going to be right here. I'm hoping that you can see that, okay? 
your student directions right here. All right. Now there's a whole lot of things I'm asking you to do this week. Only three assignments. There will be seven resources by the time I'm done publishing everything to your Google Classroom. The videos that are included in there, I've really parsed them out for you. I've watched them. I've pulled out what's important for you because honestly, some of them are 49 minutes long and it's a bunch of teachers going, uh, uh, wait, why? Nobody has to watch that, including this. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, in when you upload your sustained investigation pieces, remember there's 10, okay? College Board being what they are, I'm just busting on them today, they still have 15 slots. So what you're going to have to do is upload placeholders for SI pieces 11 through 15, okay? Now I'm going to show you this here. So what I've done here is I have put on your Google Classroom these sustained investigation images. These are directly from the College Board. You're going to have to upload those um, before you can um, finalize your SI pieces, okay? All right, um, let me see what else I want to tell you. There's also going to be two selected works placeholders, but we're going to worry about selected works next week. Don't worry about that this week. Okay. What all is on your Google Classroom? Okay. Let's go back. There's uh, up here is going to be your weekly introduction video. You've obviously clicked on it because you're watching this. Um, there's going to be your student directions for using AP Art and Design. There's going to be this video uploading artwork. I'm asking that you watch the entire thing. It's worth it. Okay. An inquiry statement assignment. This is where you're going to take all of the writing you've done all year, condense it into 1,200 or less characters with the best possible action verbs, present tense, uh, referencing specific works, all that good stuff, and you're going to send me your rough draft. Okay. The second major assignment this week is to finalize your 10 sustained investigation portfolio pieces. Within this assignment, okay, there are, there are, there's a video. I'm sorry, I can't show you because I haven't published it yet. I've parsed that out for you. There's some really, really good advice in this, okay? I need you to watch these portions of the video that I reference in the, in the directions. Like, for example... Um, let's see, la, 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 for example, okay, I'm asking you, um, watch the beginning of video through four minutes and 20 seconds, and then you don't have to watch again till five minutes to 530, okay, and then look, there's a big gap here from 650 to 2340, I want you to, to switch, this is just an example I want to show you, okay, you don't have to watch the whole video, I've tried to, to be the best teacher I can while we're miles apart. Um, the seventh thing on your, the seventh material on your Google Classroom is the weekly email. Basically, um, I want you to let me know what questions you might have because once you submit your SI pieces and your inquiry statement, I'm going to get to work here. I'm going to have to review everything, give you my two cents. Um, and, but if you have questions in the meanwhile, this is your chance. If you tell me, hey, Mrs. C, everything's hunky-dory, then okay, fine. We're working towards, after next week, after when you do your selected works, we're working towards individual critiques before we do our final digital submission of your portfolio. So we'll schedule that for the week of, let's see, what's today? The 20, what is today? 24th, 7th. Um, the week of May 4th, okay? I'll, I'll meet with you individually, whether it's a video call or, or something else we work out, okay? Um, so that we can finalize these and you can be done. All right. Um, finally, this is a complete list. This is right from the College Board website. If you want to watch, there's, honest to God, there's probably like 15 videos you could watch end to end. If you, you have, I don't know, 36 hours to kill, you can watch those, okay? All right, please this week, I'm gonna go back to, so you can see my smiling face. Um, please spend your time really 
strategizing about how you're going to communicate your very best possible portfolio using um, your sustained investigation portfolio using only 10 images how what strategies can you use to really make each and every one of those 10 images sing okay um, how will you show process revision and experimentation um, and there are some strategies in in the video excerpts I pulled out for you will you combine images will you label them um, how much of each can you show can you show a whole lot of revision um, can you show all your revisions in one slide can you show process experimentation revision all in one slide for each I don't know okay knowing that each image you upload is worth 10 percent really it's it's 10 percent of what you're allotted you have to make each and every one just get as much bang for your buck as you can okay um will you include any detail shots of your work if you are um does the detail really really is it worth blowing a whole one out of ten slots on one single detail or could you put a whole bunch of details in one slot you're gonna have to think about these things okay um it's this is not going to be an easy week to be an ap art student um so hopefully you you already have a good good sense now all the work you've done all year with the writing and the web pages you should have everything it's just a matter of what's going to be the best possible strategy for you okay um now what language are you going to use to best communicate all of those those lines of inquiry think back to your your branches of your sustained investigation tree um, what happened first what happened next what was what was a turning point what was a shift why did you change you want to use all those those words okay um, next week like I said we're gonna do selected works and our, we'll finalize the inquiry statement the following week we will do individual conferences that's pretty much it guys so I hope you're all doing well I look forward to hearing from you um, the images like I said have been wonderful take care and uh, best of luck let me know what I can do for you okay thanks bye <laughs>